I just want to explain how you can manage the boolean on a curved surface. So I have added the cube. Then go to edit mode, select its corner edge and then control B add a bevel on it. Add 4 to 5 segment bevel. Then select its top and bottom face as well as that back face and then delete them as like this. Then select everything and extrude along its normal. You will get this kind of curve form. Just add the supportive loop cuts to maintain the form. You can use the insert operation add there to add those supportive loop cuts. Now you need to add a few bunch of loop cuts on the model. So I have added this kind of loop cuts to create that boolean detail. After that you need to delete one half of the model and you need to add the mirror modifier and take the symmetry. Turn on that merging and clipping option. Now I am going to select some faces to create that boolean. You can see I have selected the faces on that particular curve part. And then use the insert operation. One more time you need to use the insert operation. Then use the extrude operation and delete the faces. As like this. After that you need to select this edge loop and then right click breach edge loop. Then hit the control 2 to add subdivision modifier. And then you need to add the supportive loop cuts to maintain the form. We are getting this kind of boolean add there but we are facing the little bit of difficulty with the shading. We are getting these harder edges on that curve part. And that's why we are destroying that curve surface. So this kind of thing happens when you add the supportive loop cuts. Here I have taken the similar kind of another model. And now I'm going to select the faces as like this. And you need to perform the same steps to create that boolean. But here you can notice I have selected some more faces at there. I have selected the faces on the flat surface also to create this boolean. Then you can add the support to loop cuts like this to maintain the form. Now you can notice one thing at there. Because of the faces which are on the flat surface, I'm not getting any kind of weird shading. I'm getting that decent looking smooth curve form as well as that boolean. Now you can compare both models at there. You can see the shading difference in these two models. If you can manage your design, then you can use this way to create the boolean on a curved surface. You can't create changes in your design, then you should use the set flow method. Means you need to use the set flow add there to maintain the good edge flow. But that will be more difficult work. So better still, you can bring some changes in your design. There is another way to create this kind of boolean with the similar kind of design, just adding some variation in it. I'm going to show you that another way right now. I'm just dissolving these edges. I don't need this much edges at there. This kind of supportive loop cuts, which are destroying the form of the model. Just isolate this. Here you need to add first center loop cut. Then select the words. You can turn on your extra mode and then double tap G for the edge slide. You need to create the curve form at there. That's very important. Similar thing you need to do at here also. Then you can select the faces and then you can start to create that boolean. So just select the faces. And then press I for the insert operation. You need to use the insert operation one more time, then extrude along the normal and then delete the faces. And then select the edge loops and then right click breach edge loop. As like this. And now you can see we are getting that smooth curve and we are getting that smooth boolean. So you can use this way to create the boolean on the curve surface. Means creating that curve boolean. You can play with the form, you can add bevel on it, you can create the sharper, harder design if you want. It's totally in your hand. So I like that bevel kind of form which looks really well. It's totally depend on you. You can create your model with any way. It's totally depend on your design. So these kind of tricks you can use while modeling your model. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey